Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we are going to do our spoils of war from yard sales. And today is when you get to see me get extremely, extremely excited. So I bought something I've always wanted. And it's just always out of my price range and what I'm comfortable giving. So, so we're going to get you kind of set up in a tripod here. So for, for one we'll go over with what I bought. That really excites me. Oh, let me get this part of this pole out. Okay, so what I bought is a Fender Twin with reverb and everything. That is like my ultimate amp. I've always wanted that amp, and this amp will get its own video. Uh, of plugging it in, seeing if it works, the whole nine yards. I got a stupid good deal on it, which I'll go over with you here in a second. Start getting some of this stuff unloaded. So let me get you set up at a tripod and we'll go from there. All right, let's get some of this stuff unloaded. Sorry about that guys, that's what I keep saying about it, it's hard to get anything done around here because of people stopping and talking and stuff. So that's why on the videos, I may not sound over excited because people look at you like there's something wrong with you. So, but anyways, let's finish unloading. I'm telling you, I know you can't tell it right now, but I am like extremely excited. And the sad part about it is, is I have to unload, but what I'm extremely excited about with, it's gonna take me a little while to get everything done to it that I need to get done to it. Getting closer, I didn't buy a whole lot, but what I bought is quality. Ha <laughs> 
<coughs> okay. So let me get you out of the stand here. Carry you guys with me. Okay. So first we'll start out with the snowblower. Snowblower is a Toro S200. It's lightweight. It's easy to use. It is extremely lightweight. Um, the rubbers on the bottom look really good shape. That's these down here. They look like it's never been used. The gentleman that I bought the guitar amp and the skateboard from, um, he said this was left at his place when he bought the house. Big old nice new waterfront home. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful places. <coughs> he said he put gas in it and it started up, but overnight it leaked all the gas out. And if you guys can see, when I pulled it off the truck, it leaked some gas laying out there. There's a little bit of gas laying right there. Probably don't want that laying in it, but it'll wipe off. But that's, uh, I did not buy that for me. I actually bought that for my father. He has a handicap ramp that he has to take care of. And, uh, that I, is light enough for an 80 year old can push it. Even though normally I'll be the one going over there to take care of everything. If he has to, this pushes and goes really easy. So that's what that is. And as we can see, I gave $5 for it. And then next we have, well, let's go with the bicycle. The bicycle I bought, I don't know why. It looks like it's new or new-ish. I mean, I would say relatively new at all. And basically what it is, is it's a bike that I'm going to try to start riding with my boys. I do see a few problems like the gears over here. I didn't see that at the sale, but I think that's just because it's out of the holder and I think it'll be really easy to fix. Um, anyways, it's an 18 speed. I don't know what size it is. Okay. Sorry about that. Kind of got interrupted a little bit. All right. So anyways, back, I gave $10 for the bicycle. Uh, I'm going to try to ride it myself with the boys. I do have to figure out how that goes back in the holder there. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. We'll find out. Bought that handicap bar. Gave more than what I thought it was worth. She, she wanted five bucks. I wasn't going to sit there and try to juice somebody down. So I gave five bucks for it. I bought that also for my dad and he was tickled to death. He's like, oh yes. He said, I can definitely use that in the shower. He knows exactly where he wants it. He knows exactly how it goes. He was tickled to death with it. Uh, same way with this little. My my dad is almost 80 years old. And my stepmom is pushing that. And she's got some medical issues. And I know he's bought some bars and they're stupid expensive. So I bought this one. It's one of them that just kind of. I don't know what you call it. Just suction cups to the wall. And for a dollar, I figured, you know, he could use it maybe even right beside the commode or something. All right, so next then we have, I bought, well, we'll get to that last. I bought this little heater. She wanted $2 for it, and I felt really bad because I bought that and that fishing pole. She wanted $2 for the fishing pole. I bought the fishing pole for my daughter because it's pink, and she had just went and bought her a new fishing pole. But she said she thought about buying open face, but she didn't want to waste her money just in case she did, couldn't figure out how to use it. So I figured I'll clean that one up and give it to her. And if she doesn't figure out how to use it, then we're only out two bucks. Uh, in the bag back here is a new set of sheets. Um, lady said that she bought them and she just didn't like the way that they feel. She said she likes silk and satin and stuff, which I don't. And it was three bucks for, it's got the fitted, the flat, and two pillowcases. So I bought those. And then there's a little radio in here. My boys, I just bought my boys a set of these. And I think it was a dime. And I thought, well, 
you know, maybe my boys can use it for parts or whatever. For a dime, I just bought it. So then I ended up buying a belt sander. Uh, when I went through my divorce, I had loaned mine to my ex-sister-in-law and I never got it back. And for an older Sears Craftsman for $2, I thought I don't use it very often, but when you need one, you need one. And for two bucks, and they had two of them. The other one looked newer, but it was like four times as heavy as this one. So I picked the lightest one. And then I ended up buying this little sander. Also, oh, back to my story that I was telling you. See, I'm, I'm like squirrel. Uh, I thought when I picked that up, I thought it said $2. So I handed her $4 for both of them. She didn't say a word. Then when I went to load it in the truck, I see it says $2.50. But by then I was already on down because you know, I parked and walked and I didn't bother to go back. It was a one-way street. I couldn't have drove back and I was too lazy to walk back. So I felt kind of bad about that. Now onto this, this one here. I bought this little sander for 50 cents, same yard sale. And the reason I bought this one is because of the corner like that getting in corners of shelves and stuff or inside dressers if I need to sand them. And I have pads for this that come in another sale that I bought. So for 50 cents, yeah. And none of this stuff is even tested yet. So I just assume that they all work. And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. 50 cents, I'll throw it in the trash. Then I bought this skateboard where I bought the guitar amp for $2. Um, the guy that stopped over here a minute ago, you've seen on film, he says it's a good one. I don't know if it is or not, but my boys both skate. And if it's a good one, then they'll be happy. If it's not, maybe they can use it for parts. All right, that neighbor's getting ready to come back by again, so I'm gonna pause. Okay, like I said, I know that sounds really bad when I try to avoid my neighbors, but I'm trying to make a video and they just, I don't know, they're aggravating at times. So anyways, back to that, like I said, for $2, if they don't like it, they can use it for parts. If they do like it, they'll be tickled to death and it'll be like, good job, dad. That's exactly what we wanted or that's an expensive board or whatever. So now let's see, now let's talk about the Husqvarna. The Husqvarna, um, once again, when I was loading it, this thing here popped off. I know how to put it back on, it's real easy. But we'll, um, I'm not gonna to try to put it back on because I can't do it one-handed. So I'll lay this up here. This is just the kill switch handle. So it says, engine works fine. New front wheels, blade shaft is broken, needs repaired, mower 30 bucks. So I picked it up and looked and it looked to me like just the bolt was broken off the bottom where the blade goes on. There's the blade right there. And you can see the blade is bent on one end so they've hit something so basically I, I pulled it up I, I flipped it up on its side and, and I looked and I made sure the shaft wasn't bent the best of my knowledge the shafts not bent at all and it just looks like they're made with like breakaway bolts and I'm gonna have to put a tap and you know I'm gonna have to tap it out of there <coughs> or an easy out rather I guess I should say it's got the bagger, it's self-propelled, it's got brand new front tires, as you can see here, it says new front wheels. It's got new front wheels, the drive wheels. Uh, it's got the mulcher over there, it's got the side chute over there, it's got the bagger, it's got larger rear tires, it's self-propelled, it has the Honda motor, it is a Husqvarna body, it even has the thing here to where you can uh, hook the garden hose up to it and clean your deck really easy. Uh, and that right there will bring, when I'm done, will bring, you know, I can probably get close to $200 out of that when it's all cleaned up and fixed. I'll walk over here. I see a piece of trash blowed over here towards my neighbor. I don't know if it's from me or not, but I don't want to see it, so I cleaned it up. So let's see. We've gone over the snow blower. We've gone over the bicycle. We've gone over the riding or the push mower. Um, the only thing that we haven't gone over here is this little Dremel. And I just bought a Dremel the other day at a yard sale. Once again, going through a divorce, I didn't end up with my Dremel. So 
but I wanted to see what accessories this one offered and so I opened it up and get it around here where we can actually open it I keep thinking I'm zoomed and I'm not so I open it up and the first thing that you notice is there's some accessories on the top accessories where these things eat you up in cost especially like these little things these are like five dollars a pack and there's at least three of them in there i think five comes in a pack so and the little drill bit and i know that this drill bit right here actually goes in a roto zip which those are kind of expensive a few little engravers and polishing wheels and just if you use a dremel there's another one that'll go into a roto zip uh, so that's two of them that's three of them there's another one and i also notice it's got the wrench and everything in it then when you open it up look at all of this for one it comes with a complete different dremel mini and it's cordless it come with a router tip uh let me get you guys over here where you can actually see the action come with a router tip uh it's got all kinds of extra things down in here uh extra sanding disc and everything bigger extra sanding disc uh, oh and i did not even see this until just now looky here it actually has the flex shaft in there oh that excites me to no end and it's multi-speed this is a newer one now the one i had at home was digital and not that that was any better than any of the others but it was digital but the one that i bought the other day at a yard sale and i think it was only a dollar it's only single speed and you know i gave five dollars for that drummel and accessories it's got two drummels in there i think that's going to be a really handy outfit for me to have okay so now that all of that's done we're into this about 17 and a half minutes we're going to go to this and i'll tell you this i actually did a bundle deal on these uh, i'm not a fiddle player i can play a fiddle a little bit but there was this, and what really excited me about this was this is a this was a student purchase. Her dad purchased it when she was in school. She looked to be about maybe 40, maybe less than that. So I'm thinking this is something from a way back. And he's like, oh, it says Stradivarius inside. Of course, we know it's not. Uh, it looks like it is a 1975 handmade copy of a Antonio Stradivarius. So at least it does say a copy. It says, let's see if I can get in here where I can see a name. Let me put my old man glasses on here. It says it is a Sherl and Roth in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, yeah, and there's the date. The date is eight, I don't know if you can see that or not, 875, so it's a 1975. Got a little bit of wear marks right here. Nothing too bad. So it is an older one. It's in beautiful shape. Love the case. The, the case is really what got me. That was the biggest deal with me was on the case. I'm looking to see what's in here. There's some rosin, um, some more rosin, some string dampeners. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got quite a bit on the inside of it that uh, some kind of oil uh oh that's the polish for it violin polish so it is what it is and basically he said he wanted like 30 bucks for it well what i ended up doing was on the amp i ended up kind of bundling them and i might as well go ahead and tell you i gave 70 bucks for the amp and the fiddle and that amp alone is about 16 1800 dollar amp uh, look them up on eBay. Fender Twin. Uh, that's what everybody wants. That's the... Now, Merle Haggard played a, a Fender Bassman amp, like a 59 Bassman. But he also, and I think even his kids all play through Fender Twins. Uh, everybody that you've ever heard back in the 60s and 70s played through a Fender Twin. Um, it, I do see reverb on it. Right there is the reverb button. But I do not see a reverb tank in the back side of it. So I'm beginning to think that it went right here and it's not in there. 
So, I don't know what year it is yet. I'm trying to look right now to see. No, that don't say a year. At least I don't see it. I'm hoping it's one from the 60s or 70s. Um, I just cannot tell you how excited. I mean, just like beyond excited to get one of these. Um, everybody I knew growing up. I'm, I'm trying to see what this cord is right here. That's actually a fender cord. It's a California cables cord. That's an expensive cable itself. It's got the foot pedal in the back. It come with a little cheap. Oh, there's there's the reverb tank right there. Oh my God, you just can't imagine Th this. Uh, anyways, a cheap Phillips microphone. That'd be something I give to the kids to play around with. Um, oh, I just I, I can't tell you how excited. I am. It's got, I see Fender marked on all the tubes, so they're probably all the original tubes. Uh, oh, I just, you, you can't. I play a 1950-52 Tele, Telecaster, Fender Telecaster, which was one of the first electric guitars that were ever made. They were the first one televised. That's why they're called Telecasters. Um, yeah, I mean, Fender did make a, a couple the years before that, a broadcaster, which turned out to be a no-caster. Uh, anyway, snakeheads and stuff like that. But I have a 52 Tele, and I also have a newer Fender B-Bender. And I've always wanted one of these amps. And I have the newer Fender Twin, no, Fender Cyber Deluxe. And it's not what I want. This This right here is what I want. It's a tube amp, it's a fender, and ladies and gentlemen, it's made in the USA. And I'm hoping it's old. I mean, it's in really good shape. I mean, I could just go on and on and on about this, and I'm going to make a separate video on it. So, I gave $50 for that, $20 for this as a bundle deal. And that's the best thing that I've found, not just this year. That's the best thing I've found in the last probably 20 years um actually i'd say the best thing i found was at the same community sale about 11 12 years ago i bought a boat and two extra mo well a boat with a motor and an extra motor that was a lot bigger and a trailer and everything for 100 bucks from the same area so this is why i do the community yard sales and i guess i might as well point it out i did buy a push broom um, for a dollar it's great for like when I'm getting ready to cool seal the roof of a trailer I can sweep it off instead of blowing it off if there's not power available or easy to get to or I forgot my extension cords which I try not to but oh and it's got the reverb tank gosh I can't wait to find out what year it is um, not that it matters to me at all it is what it is and I'm just I'm beyond excited so there's my haul for today today's friday there'll be more sales back there tomorrow whether i make it back or not i don't know i think the first thing i'm gonna work on is i gotta reload that and the two handicap bars to take back to my dad and the mower unfortunately will just get thrown in the back with the other mowers until i get a chance to but i'll go ahead and put that safety switch back on it and probably try to fix that bicycle real quick I, I can see what happened it just come out of the holder when i got it the uh handlebars were around backwards so that may have caused it may have broke it i don't know but it's a bicycle that i can ride with the boys they both got i don't know if you can see them back here or not but they both got uh i can see my youngest son's mountain bike right there he's got a smaller one because he's small uh the other two scooters there um, and this is all yard sale finds. I, both the scooters are yard sale finds. Uh, that mountain bike, I bought my son a mountain bike similar to this one. A uh, little bit more fancier, and I think it's a better brand, but it was brand new. I bought it last year at a yard sale. I think I gave $8 for it or something, and he rides it all the time. And my youngest son rides his all the time, too, but his was a little older but it works great and it fits him. It's hard to find a mountain bike that'll fit, you know, a younger kid. 
So I think we've gone over everything. There's no other little surprises. I spent, oh, if you add it all up, probably about $120, $125, maybe. Might have spent a little more than that. I don't know. But I just, oh, I, I just, I can't believe that amp. And it's just, I don't know. For one, when I got there, the guy, he claimed, it was actually in his garage. And it wasn't out in the sale, and I asked about it. But anyways, that'll all be on another video. So if you're really interested in this amp, watch. I'm going to do a separate video on this amp. And we'll go through how I got it and, and the whole nine yards. So we will see you guys in the next video. And maybe even tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I might get rambunctious and run to some more sales tomorrow. I'm going to start processing this stuff and sorting it out and getting it where it goes and we'll see you on the next video make sure that you like comment down below and subscribe please subscribe and once you have subscribed click that bell notification down at the bottom and click all or subscribe to all or whatever and it'll tell you every time i post a new video which will be some more videos like this and some videos of working on things like this and working on the the home itself and uh my little bitty greenhouse here and some fishing you can see right there's the lake kind of zoom in a little bit right there's the lake and uh, you know be some lake activities boating fishing camping stuff like that anyways we'll see you on the next video i hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and we'll see you on the next video